How significant is the difference between white bread and whole wheat bread? We will compare their health benefits, risks, and long-term effects on our body. Let's start with definitions. White bread is made from refined wheat flour where the bran and germ layers are removed. This means it loses certain nutrients. In the case of whole wheat bread, it contains everything, bran, endosperm, and germ, making it richer in nutrients. Whole grain bread, on the other hand, is made from multiple types of whole grains, not just wheat. These might include barley, oats, and rye. It retains all parts of the grain. Now, what is the main problem with bread? The first and most significant concern about white bread is its high glycemic index. This means that when the bread is absorbed in the intestines, it rapidly raises the blood glucose level. When we eat bread, glucose is quickly absorbed from the intestines into our body. This rapid absorption causes a spike in the blood glucose level, which in turn stimulates insulin production. Insulin triggers the absorption of glucose into cells, and consequently, the glucose level drops again. A low glucose level leads to a glucose crash, also known as hypoglycemia or low blood glucose level. This can make us feel hungry again, leading to cravings for sweets or more bread, fatigue, and difficulty concentrating. While we might eat bread to suppress hunger, it can lead to hunger again, creating a vicious cycle that contributes to overeating, weight gain, and obesity. Over time, these glucose spikes can lead to constantly elevated insulin levels, which stimulate the insulin-like growth factor, promoting cancer cell growth. Regular consumption of bread can increase the risk of many cancers, including colorectal, breast, gastric, and prostate cancers. And it's not just cancer that's a concern, but also other chronic diseases. A 2019 meta-analysis on white bread confirmed that it increases the risk of cardiovascular disease by around 25%, as well as the risk of stroke, all-cause mortality, and other types of cancers. For instance, there's a 20% increased risk of colorectal cancer and a 14% increased risk of gastric cancer. So, what's the safe dosage of white bread that causes no harm? It's around 2 slices or 60 grams. Conversely, the effects of consuming whole wheat bread are entirely different. It contains a high amount of dietary fibers, is higher in proteins, and has a lower glycemic index. The glycemic index of whole wheat bread is 55, whereas the glycemic index of white bread is around 75 out of 100. Comprehensive reviews and meta-analyses suggest that whole grain consumption, which includes whole wheat bread, is associated with reduced risks of cardiovascular diseases, type 2 diabetes, and certain types of cancers. Consuming 3 to 5 slices of whole wheat bread is considered safe, equating to about 150 grams of bread. So, rather than increasing risks, whole wheat bread decreases the risk of many chronic diseases. For example, it reduces the risk of colorectal cancer by 17% and offers a 25% reduction in the risks of diabetes and cardiovascular diseases. That's how vast the difference is between white bread and whole wheat bread, from harmful to beneficial. Lastly, it's worth noting that among other whole grain breads, oat bread is on par with whole wheat bread in terms of health benefits. Additionally, it's easy to bake at home, making it a favorite choice for many healthy diet followers.